Many people will have angst in a large organization because of organizational issues, and I understand that. I mean, it's, I don't think there is anybody who, 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 in a large organization, would say that everything is fine, especially when our, our record in elections has not been very, very good. So I understand that angst, I understand the disappointment, I understand the frustration people feel. But what I don't understand is that somebody leaving our party and joining the BJP because it's 180 degrees uh, different from us. See, that means you were never an ideological warrior. Politics is about ideology. You can't say that because I didn't get a ticket on uh, Indigo from Madras to Bangalore, I'm taking spice. I mean, that option is not there in politics. You travel with a political party because you believe in a political party. So if you believe in what the Congress says, you can't believe in what the BJP says. They are completely different. So, while I might be disappointed or I would want my party to do better, or maybe I will, I will express my opinion about something in the party, there is no question of me leaving uh, my ideological moorings and joining the BJP, which is completely different from what I believe in. I believe in individual liberty. I believe in secularism. I believe in a free market. Uh, I mean, the BJP, as I said, wants to create a Hindu Iran. They want a nation to be ruled by the equivalents of Ayatollahs. There is absolutely no way. I mean, I can, I might be successful within the Congress party. I might not be successful within the Congress party, but I am an ideological uh, political traveler and there is no way on earth I could be in any organization other than this large, secular, open organization like the Congress. It will be very, very difficult for me to be part of any other formation. And I, you will definitely not see me in the BJP because my dietary preferences will not suit the BJP. 